They are living a home improvement nightmare. Elyria residents overwhelmed with restrictions they face owning a historic property. Now they're pushing for change. Lydia Spar joins us live with the story. Lydia. Well, they are pushing for change for homes they can't fix or get rid of. But these are homeowners who agreed to when they signed on the dotted line to keep their home as a historical landmark. For 40 years, Alice Evans has lived in this house on 5th Street. They don't care what you do on the inside. Check out the outside. Clearly, it doesn't match the inside. That's because Alice's hands are tied. Her home is a registered historical home in Illyria. She says Landmarks Preservation Commission won't allow her to make any modern updates. The Historical Society had its time, but now it's over. She's not alone. I have a house that I can't rent and I can't sell it. <laughs> And I can't tear it down. A group is petitioning City Hall to have their home pulled out of the historic district. They say the cost of the repairs are outrageous by the historical standards. Any kind of repair, you have to go through them first. Bill Bird has a different perspective. He is renovating the home he delivered newspapers to as a child. People are expected to attempt to keep their house in the style in which it was created. A home with history and character of a city long gone. People have the whole rest of the city to, uh, to buy homes in. They, they don't have to be in this neighborhood if they're not on board with the program. Alice was about the program until the restrictions got tougher. She wants to tear down her carriage house to build a much needed garage. I know if I build a garage, it will have to be according to the standards of landmarks, which is too expensive. Left a message for Elyria Historical Society, and we tried calling City Hall, but their offices were already closed. Know this, this fight for historical homes, whether to keep them historical or not, is not going away. Tiffany?